For 80 years, more than 250 black sailors lived and died with an unjust stain on their records. They survived the worst home front disaster during World War II, only to be convicted of refusing orders. 50 were labeled mutineers. Last week, we introduced you to the daughter of one of the Port Chicago 50. Arnold Brennan caught up with her today, right after the head of the Navy shared some life-changing news. About a week ago, Carol Cherry had only hope. I'm proud of him. I miss him. Hope that her dad, Pop is right here, Cyril Shepard Jr., and other black sailors would have their names cleared. Many of them lived and died with some level of shame, some level of fear. They lived and died with the label, mutineer, ever since July 17, 1944. Black sailors, including Cyril Shepard, were ordered to load munitions onto ships at Port Chicago, California, near San Francisco. A dangerous job they had to do quickly, with no training. They didn't have a choice. They had to do whatever they were told. Two explosions killed 320 people and injured hundreds more. When black sailors were ordered back to work loading munitions, 258 refused. Shepard was among 50 convicted of mutiny. But 80 years later, I am so happy. History is about to be corrected. And I wish they lived to see it. And it also sounds like you have been in touch with the Navy. The Navy had reached out to me. Uh, I had two uh, um, different officers call, and uh, they're going to meet me in San Francisco uh, because they have some good news to share. Articles of the government. Good of news the Navy travels faster than her flight to San Francisco. The finding of guilty. And the sentence are set aside. First delivered by the Secretary of the Navy, right Carlos Del Toro. How long before speaking with us did you physically sign orders? Oh, within the hour. <laughs> it was an extraordinary ceremony in my office. A swipe of a pen to right a wrong. We were essentially provided the legal basis by which not just to pardon the Port Chicago 50 and, and the other 200, the other 208. Uh, but to exonerate all of them. Whatever stigma they felt themselves uh, and, and has been felt by others has been lifted. We had nothing to be afraid of. They did the right thing. In the moment, how are you feeling about this? We are so delighted. Uh, our dad would be very happy um, about this. A daughter's hope and their, fulfilled and, their and her dad's are, honor uh, restored. It's finally happening that they can, you know, lift this veil of shame. Noel Brennan, CBS News, Chicago. Well, Carol will visit Port Chicago for a number of events honoring the lives lost there. The Secretary of the Navy will be there, too, to celebrate the exonerations with family of the Port Chicago 50.